Christ to shield me this day Christ with me Christ before me Christ behind me Christ in me Christ beneath me Christ above me Christ on my right Christ on my left Christ when I lie down Christ when I arise Christ in the heart of every person who thinks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen when i cried to the lord he heard my voice he rescued me from those who attacked me entrust your cares to the lord and he will support you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear brothers and sisters today this mass is being offered as a thanksgiving mass by mr aurukki arul raj mrs arul maria who celebrates their 8th year wedding anniversary and jmj congregation provincial and council members they are thanking the lord for all that they have received and today kp basque sagai raj b mary tiruthuvam they are celebrating the 30th 38th year wedding anniversary and rekki namudaiya vediyar namudaiya koyiludaiya vediyar thiru basque sagai raj mary tiruthuvam 38th aandu thirumana naalai serpikkindargal எனவே அவருக்காக சிறப்பாக நாம் ஜெயிப்போம் அவருடைய வாழ்த்துவோம் அவருடைய பணி நம்முடைய கோவிலுக்கும் நம்முடைய பங்கிற்கும் மிக முக்கியமாக இருக்கின்றது தொடர்ந்து இறைவன் அவரை அன்பு கரத்தினாலே ஆசிர்வதித்து குடும்பத்தை நிறைவாக ஆசிர்வதிக்கும்படியாக இந்த சிறு திருப்பள்ளியிலே நாம் மன்றாடும் வி ஆல்சோ ஆஃப் திஸ் மேஸ் ஃபார் தி ஸ்பெஷல் இன்டென்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஆல் தி மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் பேரிஷ் கம்யூனிட்டி and particularly we offer this mass today for all the departed souls which we remember today the soul of mrs samala naigi mr anthony dominil we pray that the lord may forgive their sins and give them eternal reward and eternal peace my dear friends coming together as god's family with confidence let us ask god's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion first to our mighty god and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to lord our god May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your people. Lord, have mercy on us all. Christ, have mercy on your people. Christ, have mercy on us all. Let us pray. 
prompt our action with your inspiration we pray o lord and further them with your constant help that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen first reading see i am setting before you today a blessing and a curse a reading from the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 15 to 20 moses spoke to the people saying see I have set before you today life and good death and evil if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you today by loving the Lord your God by walking in his ways and by keeping his commandments and his statutes and his rules then you will live and multiply and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take position of it but if your heart turns away and you will not hear but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them i declare to you today that you shall surely perish you shall not live long in the land that you are going over the jordan to enter and possess I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death blessing and curse therefore choose life that you and your offspring may live loving the Lord your God obeying his voice and holding fast to him for he is your life and length of days that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob to give them the word of the lord thanks be to god your responsorial psalm will be blessed the man who has placed his trust in the lord blessed the man who has placed his trust in the lord blessed indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the path with sinners nor abides in the company of scorners but whose delight is the law of the lord and who ponders his law day and night your response blessed, blessed the, the man, man who has placed, placed his trust in the lord he is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves shall never fade and all that he does shall prosper your response blessed, blessed the man who has placed his trust in the lord not so are the wicked not so for they like we know it shall shall be driven away by the wind for the lord knows the way of the just but the way of the wicked will perish your response blessed, blessed the man who has placed his trust in the lord please arise for the gospel acclamation i will sing god's praises now and forevermore i will sing god's praises now and forevermore repent says the lord for the kingdom of heaven is at hand I will sing God's praises now and forevermore. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. chapter 9 verses 22 to 25 at that time jesus said to his disciples the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed 
and on the third day be raised. And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, dear friends. So yesterday we started our journey, the 40 days of our journey, celebrating the Ash Wednesday. Today that we have the Thursday after Ash Wednesday, probably we still were very fresh. The celebration of yesterday, placing the ashes on our forehead, remembering that repent and to believe the gospel. And today, in continuation of yesterday's celebration, the Ash Wednesday, today the gospel gives in which Jesus says that whoever loses his life for my sake will, will save it. As a Christian or as a Catholic, God has given to us a two ways, that's all not many ways, only two ways. One is either you take up your cross and follow or you have your own way. This are only two. Uh, so we, we are supposed to choose. What to choose? We need both the ways sometime, right? Or most of the time. I want to carry my cross as well as I want to go in my own way. Okay, two ways. But Jesus is very clear that if you want to save your life, you are supposed to take up your cross and to follow me. Deny yourself. That's what we know. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow. So denying oneself or take up his cross and follow Jesus. What does it mean? A simple meaning that to participate in the death, the suffering and the resurrection of Christ. To participate in the suffering as Jesus suffered for our life as a disciple of Christ that we should also suffer for Christ. Probably you may say that for we are suffering, our, our whole life is a suffering. What do you want to do? What do you want to do more? That. No, it is not that. If you think that the, our life itself is a suffering, that there is no meaning of uh, living. So, what Jesus is trying to to participate in the suffering, to participate in the death of uh, death and the resurrection of Christ. Which means, as we believe that our master suffered, died for our sake, as a disciple of Christ, as we have accepted that Jesus is our master, we should also suffer for others. And for, for example, that we take the example of all the saints. And they were not saints when they born. And, but they were, they become saints because they realized the need of Christ in their life. And they suffered and they died, some martyred, and they died for Christ, they shed blood and all. And therefore that they became a saint. So which means, so if I want to be the true disciple of Christ, and uh, Jesus expect that I need to take up my daily cross and follow him. I need to realize the need of life. So, if, if I give importance to my life, and Jesus says in today's gospel, then you will lose it. And this is what I yesterday also I said that. No, our life is not permanent. 
our existence is not permanent one day or other we will be we will die but we are working for not permanent and we are earning everything not for the permanent but we are called to work for the permanent things the exist, everlasting thing that is god himself and it's what today that jesus said very clearly that take up your cross so therefore it is 40 days what are the cross so many crosses that we have you can say that sometime that the whole life uh, or covid 19 also one of the uh, biggest uh, the cross we can say that but however my dear friends that but as i said that for example loving other is very very difficult it's like a cross if someone knows cold at you as someone shouted you as someone who got angry with you if you say that i love you i think that is very very important and that is what as jesus is trying to to do everything in our own life not not for uh, for the sake of doing that but if i want to save myself which which is god has given to me that i want to be with god forever and ever i think i need to and that is the that is the attitude of christian if i deny if i am not denying myself if i am not taking my cross and jesus very clearly said in today's gospel you cannot be eh, my disciple so therefore let us see that uh, will try to uh, try our level best to save our life in following jesus following the pr- footprints of jesus and following the values of jesus values of jesus also love peace joy justice no forgiveness uh, acceptance all these things if we really do that i think our life will be saved in which we will also be very very close to god all for you lord all for you everything i give to you all for you lord all for you make it all your own take my hands and feet lord take them all for you they are instruments lord put them to your use to spread your love and give the good news all for you my lord pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice is yours may be acceptable god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church regard with favor o lord as we pray the offering we set upon this sacred altar that bestowing on us your pardon our oblation may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord Amen 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the last supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat of this bread and when we drink of this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom he led through his passion death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be confirmed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Nidhinathan and all other bishops with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place, and live with you forever, 
that in communion with the blessed virgin mary mother of god her spouse saint joseph with the blessed apostles and martyrs and with all the saints we shall praise and exalt you through jesus christ your son Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words of our Savior Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we free those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set here a parcel, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace with you all lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring me an everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Jesus 
of bishop's prayer we stand before you O holy spirit as we gather together in your name with you alone to guide us make yourself at home in our hearts teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it we are weak and sinful do not let us promote disorder do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path no partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. அன்புக்குரியவர்களே இன்றைக்கு நம்முடைய கோவிலுடைய வேதியர் பாஸ்கர் அவர் தன்னுடைய திருமண நாவலை சிறப்பிக்கணும் எனவே அவர்களை நம்ம கூப்பிடலாம் பாஸ்கர் அவங்களுடைய மனைவி திருத்துவ மேரியா அவங்க கொஞ்சம் மேலே வாங்க நம்ம பாஸ்கரை பற்றி எல்லோரும் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இல்லையா நம்முடைய கோவில் பொறுப்பாளர் ரெண்டு விஷயம் அவர்கிட்ட நான் பார்க்குறேன் ஒன்று வந்து கற்றுக்கணும் அப்படின்ற ஒரு ஆர்வம் அனைத்தையும் முறையாக சரியாக எல்லாம் ரெடியாக இருக்கணும் அப்படின்ற ஒரு அற்புதமான ஒரு ஒரு குணம் நிறைய கற்றுக்கணும் அதிலும் ஆர்வம் இந்த பணியிலே நம்முடைய இந்த கோவில் பணியிலே இந்த கோவில் காரியங்களிலே மிகவும் ஆர்வமாக இருப்பவர் எனவே இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு மனிதர் நமக்கு கிடைத்திருக்கின்றார் அவருடைய மனைவிக்காகவும் எனவே நாம் கரங்களை தட்டி அவருடைய வாழ்த்துவோம் தொடர்ந்து அவருடைய வாழ்க்கை இல்லற வாழ்க்கை கடவுடைய அருளால் நிரப்பப்பட்டு அவருடைய பிள்ளைகளும் அவருடைய உற்றாரவர்களும் இறைவனுடைய அருளை பெற்றவர்களாக வாழ நாம் அவர்களுக்காக ஜெயிப்போம் திருவள்ள பாஸ்கர் அவர்களே நம்முடைய பங்கு தந்தை மற்றும் உதவி பங்கு தந்தையர்கள் அருட் சகோதரிகள் மற்றும் இங்கே இருக்கின்ற அனைத்து பொதுமக்கள் சார்பாக உங்களை வாழ்த்துகின்றோம் உங்களுடைய இல்லற வாழ்க்கை நல்லற வாழ்க்கையாக அமைய தொடர்ந்து உங்களுக்காக ஜபிக்கின்றோம் நன்றி ப்ளீஸ் ஸ்டாண்ட் ஃபார் தி ஃபைனல் பிரேயர் லேட்டஸ் ஃப்ரே ஹேவிங் ரிசீவ் தி பிளெஸ்ஸிங் ஆஃப் யுவர் ஹெவன்லி கிஃப்ட்ஸ் வி ஆம் லீ பிசிச் யுவர் மைட்டி காட் தட் தே மே ஆல்வேஸ் பீ ஃபார் எஸ் எஸ் சோட்ஸ் போத் பார்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சல்வேஷன் Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back no world behind me no cross before me no world behind me no cross before me. 
for me. The world behind me, the cross made for me. No turning back, no turning back. Oh, take the whole world, but give me Jesus. Oh, take the whole world, but give me Jesus. Oh, take the whole world, but give me Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.